Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this new video of the MCP playlist series, I'm going to show you Git MCP. It's a new tool that we're going to explore. It basically helps you, you know, with to code with any GitHub repository, right? Code with any MCP documentation. And go and they say that it that it basically also helps you reduce hallucination, right? That's what we're gonna look into this video, right? We can code without hallucination. That's their elevator pitch. It's a new tool that helps you work with the GitHub repositories, right? You can, you know, you can instantly, uh, you know, take a URL and convert that to uh, a remote MCP server for any GitHub repository. So that's what we're gonna look into this video, right? So if you look at here on my screen, I'm on Git MCP website. It's on gitmcp.io code without hallucinations because now of course right because when you use this tool or any other tool as well right when you want to work with but at least with this tool they say that you have your github repository you can immediately convert that to an mcp server right you can see it says instantly create a remote mcp server for any github repository and by the way it's also available here so if you look at here git mcp right put an put an end to code hallucinations git mcp is free open source remote mcp server for any github project uh, github project or repository so it's open source apache 2.0 license so you can again use this to commercialize right so that's the that's the idea so of course this available on as a github project as well so you can of course enhance that or contribute to it now it's simply change the domain from github.com or github.io to git mcp.io and get instant ai context for any repo uh, any github repository that's what that's what they say so if you look at here it says create mcp url it says replace github.com with git mcp.io in any repository or add to ai assistant because they also have a chat so i'm going to show you that enhanced ai coding and so on and so forth and of course they have some videos that you can have a look and yeah go through it now the good thing about this is that this is compatible with all the mcp host or clients right uh, Windsurf, VS Code, Cursor, Cloud for Desktop, Goose AI on Mac OS, and uh, you know we have uh, Klein or RuClein, Highlight AI, whatever. Right now, if you if you don't know about MCP, don't watch this video. It's a waste of time if you are like a beginner or if you never, you know, uh, you know never worked with MCP. Watch my beginners video. I think this is going to be the seventeenth or eighteenth video in my MCP playlist. I have you know a lot of videos on MCP. You should watch that first. Now let's take a let's take a, maybe a repository. So uh, let's say if I can take, I want to take probably this uh, repository. Let's say I I take a small Docling OCR app, right? And if you have here, you know that was my GitHub repository, right? Now if you come here and paste it, just click try example, right? The moment you do try example, right? So there are two options. Uh, Oh, excuse me. I did a bad mistake. Try example means that the lang chain, the lang graph default repository will come up. Now, uh, if you don't have uh, a GitHub repository available quickly, then you click on try example. So that will basically brings up the lang graph uh, default example repo. Now here there are two things. You can do to chat and to MCP. So let's say, let's say for example, if you want to do to chat, right? Now for to chat, here you see that it has something called Git MCP chat. But the caveat is there are support to a lot of models you can see they have a lot of providers they have open ai anthropic grok and xai right now here you can let's see you can ask about this small docling ocr app what what is this repo all about now if you say it's, if you ask what is this repo all about and you can see right now it says fetching a small docling OCR docs. It's running right now. It's not, of course the reasoning is there. The reasoning behind is there because they are using QN3 model, QN model over here. You can see now it basically reads of your uh, fetch a small docling OCR docs, and that's the MCP that they are using. Of course, behind this chat thingy that they have basically created an interface for you if you are a if you are not a techie guy, right? Now it says. The small Docling OCR app is a streamlit based application designed for advanced optical character recognition, which is correct. And that's that's able to fetch that, right? Now, this is fantastic. Now, you can also set your API keys over here. You can see that you can set your uh, your own API keys if you want to use OpenAI models or Anthropics Cloud models or even XAI models, right? You can also do that. Now, 
that's a cool thing they have some uh, good thing for interfaces over here you know you have uh, go to their github and so on and so forth and here you can change these models right now if i go back here right and if i try to mcp let's say click on to mcp now this will bring to this git git mcp documentation server so if you if you see this entire project right which is fantastic credits to the creators over here now that's a great innovation that i have seen recently in the mcp ecosystem now they have worked on the user interfaces guys right they basically you know created interfaces that that will make our life easier right using this kind of uh simple interface where you can just give the github url it will create your uh you know config.json files and so on and so forth so you can see it over here it says mcp server url now there are two ways you can use it let's say you don't want to you know uh don't want to kind of use it anything locally you just want to use a remote server so you can use this mcp server url you can also connect your ai assistant so let's say you want to do it with windsurf so you go to mcp config.json or wherever and you can just get the things done right that's that's how easy it is over here so i'm just gonna let me do that so i'm just gonna cut this okay this is how i'm going to show you that how you can basically you know uh set it up okay so here let me just do that okay now here if you look at few things okay let me just show you this uh tool mcp server when you click on this it will show i right now i don't have any mcp servers on my winds of ide right but you can configure it click on the configure uh option here the moment you do configure you know uh you can see it says no plugins click here to view plugin store blah blah, blah. excuse me let me just go back here uh zero mcp configure manage plugin view excuse me sorry view dot config so mcp config dot json that they, they basically changed uh a few things over here with the new update of windsurf earlier it was it used to bring mcp mcp config dot json i got a bit confused with manage plugin but yeah when you click on view dot config now what you can do you have this uh let's say you want to add this over here right we can just copy it and come here and then just paste right now you paste this thing here right and of course you can do uh indentation and everything and save this and you do refresh and whatever right and maybe sometimes you have to start you can see now we have a one available mcp server here it says small docling ocr app docs now let's imagine you are, you want to enhance that project small docling right uh from that github so you can use you can just use this mcp server and start working with it right that's that's how powerful it is you know to kind of work with so the same way uh, you can do it on cloud desktop and you know vs code and cursor or whatever depending on that you can also use it in your mcp clients or anything just by your server url you can see they have just have to change from github uh, dot com to git mcp dot io and then it becomes your mcp server url so it becomes a remote server for you which is fantastic and you can of course chat that we already have seen it that's how cool it is a simple interface that they have created over here as you can see right and git mcp chat is available here a very clean ui of course built with skyra chat what's that i mean i'm not aware about it but yeah you can see skyra probably mcp chat a minimalistic mcp client with a good feature set fantastic right so that's how it is guys i really like git mcp because this makes our life easier when working with the github repositories right so this is how uh this is how you can configure it i will give this link in the video description when you get time have a look at this uh you know you have uh this is how you have to do it username git mcp.io slash repo and git mcps.io slash docs fantastic right now you can also watch this video to go through it but yeah and you can use it with windsurf you can use it with vs code cloud and everything right um that's all for this video guys i just wanted to introduce you this tool because i have I've started working with it and i really liked it uh it's open source uh, it's not a promotional video it's completely open source i wanted to just you know bring this to your attention uh, in the mcp playlist series uh if you like the video please hit the like icon if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please do subscribe the channel guys that motivates me to create more such videos if you have any question thoughts or feedbacks let me know in the comment box you can also reach out to me through my social media channels find those information on channel banner and channel about us 
that's all for this video guys thank you so much for watching see you in the next one